Hello, this is Xbox Gamer 94 and this is my tutorial on Uli Video Studio 10. It's basically a program that can edit video and audio files, but can also do a lot of other neat tricks, such as making titles, adding effects, and capturing video from your camcorder. Um the basic things I like about it is that it can insert almost any file type to its library, meaning it can get AVI files, MPEG files, WMV files, and most importantly, MOV files. That's been a big problem with the Windows Movie Maker. Most files are in MOV, and you always had to convert them. Now you don't. You just import them like that, and it's done. So any trailer, you could always import it. Another thing I like is that it can insert multiple audio and video tracks. So you basically get to see right here more overlay, audio, and stuff like that. Um, the editing. It's really easy to edit. So just grab a clip like casi my Casino Royale trailer, drag it to the port point you want edited. So I'll put like right here. Doesn't really matter. I'm just showing you. You press the big scissor, so it cuts it. Now you'll the first file you have is the whole big thing, so the whole file. Then it's from where you cut to the beginning and where you cut to the end. So all you have to do is get the point where you want. So there's an elevator here. Press cut. You're done. So it's, it's really easy. Um, the next part is the effects. You could add, there's all tons of effects, such as 3D animation, flashback, film, um, wipe, tons of wipe effects, and album which is really nice because if you want a photo album. Okay, the other thing, titles. You get there's tons of effects for titles, animations. Let's just put test. So this big thing right here, I can actually change the font, uh, type how bold I want it, how, what, italics, and the fonts and colors. It's, it's a really nice uh, thing they did here. So it's easy to make titles, and if you want something for your trailer or video you're editing, it's tons of types, and it's really easy too. One of its big things that I like about it is the overlay. Let me bring this file in to you. This is a file that they came with. It came with. It's a gr it's a girl on the green screen, right? So let me just put it in the overlay section. Okay, good. It's up to the highest it can go. Now, if you go to this thing called Mask and Chroma Key, what it basically does is remove any color that you want. So if you have a green screen or blue screen, you can remove it. So all you do is go to Attribute and click on Apply Overlay Options and make sure it's set to Chroma Key. Now, so the minute I did it, voila, it took the green and it took it out. So basically, if you have a green screen or blue screen, you could take it out. It's amazing but just make sure it's on chroma key and the similarity is the color in the background so if I press play it plays the clip without the green which is one of the ma massive good things about this program that it can take green screen simple and it's very easy for people that are not as good with the computer and stuff so all they need is just to press that little button there and it's done um, and that's really it. You can add audio, overlay, that's the overlay, effects, edit, and capture. Now, sharing. Sharing is, is a wonderful thing that I love about this. There's so many options for share to create a video file from. There's MPEG, MPEG, MPEG high definition, WMV high definition, Pocket PC, there's tons of options, and DVD, widescreen, or just full screen. I love this option, and I think it's better than Windows Movie Maker overall. This program is definitely better than Windows Movie Maker. You might have to get used to it a while, because it's different, a different layout and stuff, but I assure you that you should get this. Now, for a, a neat, neat little thing you could try out, at download.com, you could actually download a 30-day trial of it. So you want to test it out a bit, you can. Just go to download.com and search in you lead Video Studio 10. Sorry about that. And just press on it, and it'll come up, and just download it from there. It got really good reviews, and I like it. 
too. I mean, it's simple. It's not the best, but it's really good if you want to, for people that just want to make stuff. Okay, this is it, my end of the tutorial. See ya.